Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for joining me today at Pure Mind Magic and December 14th at the Advent Calendar this year. For those of you who are familiar with the Pure Mind Magic show, you are probably wondering why there is no music and no introduction to this episode. And there actually is a reason for that that I will explain in a minute. And for those of you who are new to the show, I would recommend you listen to another episode of the show first before coming back to this episode. So yesterday I made the promise that I will share a very personal story today. And I indeed normally don't do that because I grew up with show business and in show business, you have to work whether you feel like it or not, but the show must go on and you have go, have to go out on stage. And sometimes this is a good thing because you are trained to put yourself into this peak performance mindset on the spot and like just pushing a switch to the other side and you are ready to perform. But on the other side, there is a price tag to that, obviously over the years doing it. So today is a tough day for myself. As I said, it's December 14th and it is actually the death day of my mom. She passed away 2012 on December 14th, just 10 days before Christmas. And so this episode is dedicated to her because I know if or when she would be still alive, that she would be really proud of me producing this podcast and sharing it with the rest of the world, like spreading a special art of magic worldwide. And after she died, it was said that this sadness and grief you have after losing someone will be there with you and stick with you for the rest of your life. And it is really true. I have to say, of course, life goes on and other things are happening. But when you lose someone that is so important to you, like your own mother or father, no one ever can replace that person. That's just it. So when you lose a partner or a friend, it is still very tough. But for me, you can't compare it. It's just different. And for those of you who lost also someone, you know that this is an incredible stress put on you and it puts everything in your life on hold and you are not able to think clearly anymore. So. I felt really, really sad and I found a way now to cope with everything. But today, of course, I'm thinking about her and I always try to think of all the positive things I have in mind. And actually, I have to say that her death was one of the key elements that pushed me into the direction of really becoming a professional magician, becoming an entrepreneur and self-employed before, because before I worked in an office in the corporate world, like from nine to five. So for those of you who are doing that, you know what I'm speaking of. And after seeing her in the hospital, I really made my final decision to go all in and turn pro because I was sure she was lying there and it was sure for myself that I would never see her again. And in that moment in your life, I thought to myself, you don't regret all the risks you have taken. I guess you regret all the risks you didn't take. So I made my decision and became this professional magician. So this whole thing is kind of dedicated to her. And it's also said, I don't know what's up with that, but that important people die before Christmas. And really interestingly, when you look in the world, into the world of singers and famous Hollywood actors and other really powerful, famous people from the world, a lot of them actually died before Christmas. 
So it is not only a time of light and joy and spending time together with your family. We all know that this is, can be also a dark time because the days are shorter than in summer times because of the sun. So sometimes not really an easy time. And there is a lot of magic, but it's always said where there is a lot of light, there's also a lot of shadows. We all know that. So my message today for you is that take some time in the stressful Christmas period, running around, getting all your presents together for the Christmas evening. Take some time for yourself and just to be quiet and grateful. So when you have lost someone too this year or maybe the year before, then think of this person. And you know, when someone passes away, there is this thing of doing like 60 minutes of complete silence, just dedicating this time to this person. And it's also, I think, important to be grateful for everything you have in life and put your focus on that. And when it's connected to someone who passed away, be grateful for all the beautiful and nice memories you have with this person. So no one can steal that from you. It's locked in your mind, everything that happened together with this person. So the same with me and my mother and my childhood and she uh, watching all the magic tricks when I just started out at the age of seven. And it was her who gave me my, ma my first magic set at the age of seven. So also this reminds me of that there are things in this world that money can't buy. So I'm sure no matter how much money I will make as a magician, there is no way. And this is something that is really impossible. Also, when I'm the person who talks about making the impossible possible, but it's, it is impossible to bring her back to life. There is just no way and no money in the world will bring her back. So this is another aspect of being grateful for what you have and especially the relation to your family, maybe to your kids, to your parents or to your partner, husband, wife, because these things money can't buy. So be grateful of having them. Even when they drive you crazy, sometimes be grateful of having them and uh, supporting them. So the last aspect I was thinking about today is that for those of you who are familiar with tarot cards and I have to say upfront that I don't work with tarot cards because I'm an entertainer, but there are obviously some magic effects where tarot cards are involved because they look beautiful and there are some sim similar similarities, sorry for that, with playing cards. <clears throat> so everyone knows the, the most famous tarot cards and there is a card everyone is ever afraid of and this is a death card. So when someone picks the death card it can be really shocking because this card normally really looks horrible from the graphic design when you look at it. But the thing is that when I read the magic books about the magic effects having to do with tarot cards. It is said that the death is not a symbol for the physical death. It is more a symbol for something that comes to an end. And we all know that when something ends, something new will begin. So when something dies, something else is born. And it's really the cycle and our life goes in this cycles. So from beginning to end and things end and new begin, new things begin. We know that from relationships and from careers, from projects, it is just the way life is. So we have this different phases. So think about when you lost something this year, where is a new beginning for you or yeah, what can can happen out of it. And also 
there are in magic effects that are called life and death. So normally the magician performs like that, asking for five people to name someone that is still alive from their own life or yeah, more from their own life. And then asking one person to name a person from someone that is death or just writing them all down on a list without the magician noticing it. And then while performing, the magician will find out because of the vibrations from the font of those spectators, which one of the names on the list is death. And obviously there is another energy from something that is death than from something that is alive. So you are still alive and this is the other message today. Make the best of every day because no one of us knows when our final day arrives. We are all here. We will all die. It's just a question of time. So just be aware of the time you have and really use it in a wise way and don't just waste it every day. Day. So make the best of it and give the world the gift of presenting the best version of yourself. So this is my message for today. And I'm happy when you stay with me this day. What I said, it's it's really not easy for me and leave a nice comment or shoot me an email to puremindmagic at gmail.com. That is puremindmagic at gmail.com. I'm happy for your support and maybe you share your story about what dark time you went through this year or in the time before Christmas. So I will reply to those emails. And now that's it for today. I leave it like that. And you understand now why I thought to myself for this special personal episode, it doesn't make sense to put the normal intro or the music because it's too entertaining. And I wanted just to dedicate this episode to my mother. So tomorrow there will be another interview and the show goes on as usual and as you know it. So I wish you a quiet day. Think of everything and everyone that is important in your life and just use your time in a good way today and make the best out of it. And maybe you can make someone else happen just with a small compliment or a small gift or whatever comes up to your mind. Just make the world a better place today.